Hey guys, today we'll cover the Solidify modifier. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete Intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, go ahead and start a new file up in the file menu, pick the option for new, general. I've already done so, so I'll hit escape. And as usual, you have your default cube. In this example, let's go ahead and delete the cube. So shift X, then press enter to delete that cube. And let's add a plane mesh. So shift A, then under the mesh menu, go ahead and pick plane. And in this lesson, we're gonna learn about the solidify modifier. But first, we're gonna do a few things to the geometry so we can make this a little bit more interesting. So roll your mouse wheel forward to zoom in, hold down on the center mouse wheel to orbit a bit, then press tab to switch to edit mode. Click once in space to deselect everything. Then on your top row of numbers, press the number two to switch to edge selection mode and click on this back edge here to select it. Then press E for extrude and Z for the Z direction. And you can extrude that edge up and it pulls a face up along with it. Go ahead and click to set that down and you've created a back face there. Now click on this bottom corner edge to select it and let's give it a bevel. So press control B on your keyboard. That will activate the bevel tool. And as you move your mouse, you're adding a bevel. If you roll your mouse wheel, you can add segments to that bevel on the fly. So add a few segments, not too many. And then when you like how much it's beveled, go ahead and click to finish the bevel. Okay, let's do that all one more time. Let's click to select this edge here. Only this time we'll extrude it down. Press E for the extrude and Z for the Z direction and extrude this down a bit and click. Then click to select this corner edge, control B for the bevel tool and start your bevel. Notice it's defaulting to what you did last time. Go ahead and click to set that bevel down. Okay, so we have something a little more interesting here. Go ahead and press the tab key to switch back to object mode. And now we're ready to take a look at what the solidify modifier will do for us. So over on the right hand side, click on the modifier properties wrench icon, then click on the add modifier dropdown and let's find the solidify modifier in the generate column here. Go ahead and click on it to add it. At first, we don't really see much going on, but if you come over to the modifier properties, the first thing you should do is here where it says thickness, go ahead and click on that right arrow a few times to get that thickness to appear. And if you orbit around, you see what the solidify modifier does. It's essentially creating a thickness similar to what an extrude might do. And it's creating it such that we're filling in everywhere so that it's a solid object. Now I should point out what exactly it's doing here. So if you kind of orbit to a bit of a side view here, so you can see this grow and then come over to the thickness and continue to toggle that to the right, you see that this is growing in this direction and this one down and this one over. So what it's doing is it's kind of solidifying in what you might think of as the negative direction. And the reason for that is the offset. So you notice the offset set at minus one. So the value for the offset is a range of minus one all the way up to positive one. At minus one, the solidify is essentially going in the negative direction of the normals. So the normals were all here facing kind of up in this positive direction. So the negative direction of the normal was the direction for that thickness. Notice that if you click and hold down and drag to the right on the offset, it's kind of hard to tell what it's doing here, but essentially if you drag it all the way to the other side, now your original shape is this back part here and the thickness is all going in the positive normal direction. Notice that if you click down on the thickness here, you see that it's the top part that is growing and shrinking. Of course, if you set this to zero, so you can click and set the offset to zero by highlighting it, deleting it, press zero, and then enter. Now it's going 
halfway in the positive normal direction and halfway in the negative. So it's essentially the thickness is going about the middle. So now as you click on the thickness, it's gonna kind of grow in both directions. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now, back to the lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and orbit, zoom back a bit, and we're gonna add one more mesh here to discuss a little bit more about the Solidify modifier. So press Shift A on your keyboard, and then under the mesh, let's go ahead and add a cube. Press G and then press Y. Let's move this over in the Y direction and click to set it down. And then let's move it up just a little bit. G and then Z. And then let's just pop it up a little bit there. Okay, scroll your mouse wheel forward and hold down the shift key in the center mouse wheel to move your view over so we get a better look at this cube. Then press tab to switch to edit mode. Click once in space to deselect everything. Press two on your keyboard. You should still have that edge selection mode turned on, but two will turn that on. And then click on the top edge. We're gonna delete just this edge. So press X on your keyboard and then pick edges. That's what we wanna delete. And now we're left with all of these sides. We just lost the top one and the front face. Now press tab. Let's try to use the solidify modifier to give a thickness to all the sides. So come over to your modifiers tab. You won't have any existing modifiers here because they were applied to the other object. So you've got a clean slate here. So go over to add modifier and come down and find solidify. Go ahead and click on it. And then for thickness, let's go ahead and click and drag to the right. And at first this looks pretty cool, but if you keep going, Notice what's happening here. So if you orbit, you notice that it's kind of angling here. So what's going on? Well, it turns out that because Solidify is sending things based on a normal direction, when you have these normals pointing here, we have a normal direction and then it turns a corner here. So it's a 90 degree angle. So the average between those two normals, as we continue to change this thickness will start to average out where it's gonna be at an angle or a diagonal kind of a line. And so these thicknesses are gonna behave in ways that we wouldn't expect. So what do we do here? Well, that's where even thickness comes in. So come over to this checkbox in your modifier properties where it says even thickness, check it on. Notice that everything seems to have lined up and now you can dial that thickness up or down and you'll see that that all works perfectly or maybe as you would expect. Now, the last things to know about how the solidify modifier works is down here, you see that the rim, the default is to check on the fill for the rim. So uncheck that and you'll see what that is. That's those ends here that are automatically put on here. So if you orbit around, you'll see that you now have gaps there. You can go ahead and check that back on so now those are all filled in. And then if you check on only rim, at first it's kind of difficult to tell what's going on, but go ahead and zoom in and orbit and hold shift to get your view just so. And if you look, I'm looking in here and the rim is filled in. That's what we see here, but only the rim is filled in. That means that this kind of interface here that was gonna give it thickness is missing. So if there was an instance where you just wanted to add the rim and not the faces of that thickness, that's what that setting would be. Usually that won't be what you want, but just helpful to know what that is. So you can uncheck only rim and then you can orbit back and you have a pretty good idea now of what the solidify modifier can do for you. So while you could extrude thicknesses in many places and the extrude tool is powerful enough to do some of the things you might try to do the solidify modifier is helpful because first of all, you can get it done quickly. And second of all, you can continue to come back and edit things about the modifier until you decide that you no longer need to. And if that's the case, you could always go ahead and drop the menu down and apply it. 
Just remember that when you apply it, it's no longer editable, but if you need to get access to the underlying geometry for some reason, then by all means, you could go ahead and apply it. Okay, that's it for now for the Solidify modifier, and you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending. Thank <laughs> you.